There we go. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Thank you, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, back at Hennessy, we like to ship scrap. Check out, uh, check out my dance. Will, say hello to the camera, buddy. Where we at today? Where? There you go. What's the plans for today? Yep, my fish just jumped right behind you, buddy. I kid you not. Well, it looks like we're having a change of uh, videotaping. Phil with the F is giving his first try. Say hello, Phil. Phil, meet Phil. Well, it looks like me and Phil on the good spot, a bunch of shad rolling around here. So hopefully we imitate that shad appearance and be able to catch us a couple big ones. Or at least to say, not the skunk today. <laughs> All right. We got the whole leg to ourselves. Nobody here, that's the type of status we're on. We rented the whole lake. Ain't that right, buddy? It's all ours for the mother kayakers. See it? Didn't say the word. I read the small print. <laughs> This water is so calm. It's like we rented the whole lake just for us. Nobody out here. Did you see much action when you were closer towards the bank? Really? All right. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I see him. all ours look at you look at be able to stand up in that titan say hello to the viewers buddy yeah that's a little peep show <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do a slow presentation right now at the bottom <clears throat> with the shad looking color so so i figure there's a bunch of shad and they're nipping at them I'll do one pull, drag it on the bottom a couple of feet, let it sit for like five seconds and then keep it moving. But I kind of want to go by those rocks over there. I think we're, I think we're, you had a solid plan as far as moving that way. Yeah. Yeah, we always went to the left, so. All right, let me know, buddy. I'm trying to stick bait, hoping that that might trigger a bite. Small, saw some small shad. Little blow ups here in the area. But look at this view. Look at that beautiful kayaker right there in the goddamn foam. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is what it's all about. The entire lake to ourselves, nobody out here. I don't blame them. It is a little, little nippy. Well, just want to show you how beautiful it is over here. Nice and calm, nobody around except the ducks. Yeah, and my buddy right behind me. Yep, this is the life. Loving it. New year, 2021. Brings many big fish in our lives, especially for my buddy Phil. And yeah, perfect. What the heck is going on here? But that is a lot of action. It's apparently just working the drop shot. The KVD swim style bait. Hoping I can match the hatch. And I'm wondering because they're all suspended at 20 feet. If they're going to want this. Maybe it's not enough. 
but at the same time just because they're all within that 20 feet range i wonder if they don't want this maybe they want something they can react to maybe cause a reaction like a rattle trap maybe a jerk bait but i'm just playing it patient right now at the moment well, i want to show you guys you can see my screen there's a lot of blow-ups hopefully you guys be able to see one a lot of little fish jumping up running from something like i said hopefully we can imitate that work it nice and slow and yeah hopefully we catch something today i see this is fresh fluorocarbon line that straight line that shoots down that's my bait so i'm gonna lift it up and wait till one of them gets on it but you know what one of the crazy things i'm doing is i'm throwing this out here and i didn't even put a scent on it so I have this, and I wanted to order some of these in the fluke style, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down this Robo Worm Morning Dawn Shark Truce color. I'm going to trim it down, garlic scent on it, and then just give a little bit of a trim just like that. I think it may be. All right, catch a bass with this one. Which is due to the nature of it being so small, and I'm on six pound test line, keep in mind. It may work in my benefit. Let's find out. And as some of you can see, yeah, I didn't bring my uh, <laughs> my waterproof boots, so um, I brought my next best thing working man shoes. Yeah, if you look far down there, I got my other buddy over there, he's just uh, pedaling his butt right along. Let me get back to you guys and see what happens. You see, that's the beauty of a freshly spooled line. All right, I tried finessing these guys and they don't care for it. So I think I'm gonna get a little aggressive with them now and bring it down to Mega Bass, version 110. Sign the jerk bait. Ah, let's try something a little bit more action. Good old Vision 110. Can I get that in? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see if I can get this to work. Out. You know, that's the one thing I notice about this. To donut. I love them, but I don't think they're really meant for casting that far. Uh, here's another thing I like about the gentleman. You really have to work the hell out of these things. I'm going to start working myself closer towards the bank because I see all this possible. Yeah. You know, I just thought I'd share. I've never seen this much action on a freaking screen before. I have to catch something here. I feel like I can go down a bit. So it's basically, it's a small little micro jig. And what I did was I put the crawdaddy on it with the uh, California craw color, which is like a watermelon green with a uh, red flake. Um, I do have the Okeechobee craw. So I'm gonna start working myself towards these rocky areas, see if there's anything going on over here, specifically in that section, because there's like a ton of stuff at the bottom. So I could be just getting bites from like small little catfish or whatever the hell's going on there, but I don't have enough driving force to set that hook. I have to put my hoodie on though too, because you can see it's getting kind of kind of wet here. Oh, I missed one. I'm on one. Come on, baby. Come on. You double up. There we go. There we go. Woohoo! All right. So we have one. 
going on. And now I just gotta get to him. <laughs> Let's see how fast this old town really goes, baby. No wake, but oh well, it's worth it. Leg burn, working out, kayaking. Some people don't call it kayaking because it's cheating with the PDL drive, but hey, work out, fish. See your buddy catch one after get done praying about it and he catch one. Perfect. So, let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. He is in the boat. Oh man, finally. Good lordy. Thank you, Lord. Oh man. Check that out, folks. And I got him in the beautiful 4K. Come on. There we go. Oh, my lordy. Look at this, Chunky Monkey. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, back at Hennessy, we like to. Check out, uh, check out my tantrums. I'm gonna let this guy breathe a little bit and I'm gonna get the scale because he's a big one. Let him breathe. Oh man, I gotta wear her. She's fat. She's fat. How's she looking? Huh? She's a fatty, huh? All right. Watch out, coming in fast with the wake. She's a fatty, huh? I got her on the jig. Right. Watch out, coming in fast with the wake. <laughs> no weights. Proud, Proud of my buddy. Oh, I'm out of breath. What'd you catch it on? I just played it here. There's some stuff going on here if you got a jig. Ooh, she's a nice one. Yeah. Turn your camera down the room. Your camera's pointed up a lot. Is it? Yeah. Leave my camera alone. My first time. Be gentle. She's nice, healthy, buddy. Man. Thank you. <laughs> Micro jig? <laughs> I just played it here. There's some stuff going on here if you got a jig. Ooh, she's a nice one. Yeah, turn your camera down a little bit. Your camera's pointed up a lot. Is it? Yeah. Get my camera on my first time. Be gentle. <laughs> Ooh, she's nice. Alright. I'd say about a pound and a half. Really? Yep. You think so? Yep. I don't know, buddy. You wanna hold it? Pound and a half, buddy. Uh, these fish can't be deceiving. No. She's large now. Uh, she is... What micro jig? Let me see. Hold on. Oh, she's fat, so maybe, yeah. There you go. I said a pound and 0. 0.75. Good thing I charge my batteries. Well, a few batteries. Hey. Where's your gloves I gave you? I got them. All right, here she goes. We got two, 213. Two, I was close. 212. Nice. She's a fatty. She's a nice yeah. one. I will take it. Good Jeez. job, buddy. Give me some. Oh, she's nice. All right. She don't look too angry. I'd say about a pound and a half. Really? Yep. You think so? Yep. I don't know, buddy. You want to hold her? Pound and a half, buddy. Uh, let's see here. I, I think she's more than that. She, uh, she weighs. This can't be deceiving. No. She's, she's a large mouth. And she is. What Michael Jake? Let me see. Hold on. Oh, she's fat, so maybe, yeah. There you go. I said a pound and 0.75. Good thing I charged my batteries. Well, put new batteries. Hey. Where's your gloves I gave you? I got them. All right, here she goes. We got two. 213. 13, I was close. 212. 
Nah, she's a fatty. She's a nice yeah. one. I will take it. Jesus. Good job, buddy. Give me some. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. Oh, Would man. You catch it on? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you the one I caught her on. I'll just put on my confident bait real quick. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You caught what one or two of them on there on that A rig already? Two and I haven't even used it long. Man, I gotta put her back in the water. Alright, buddy. Bye. Get away from me now. Here. Get, get that. Get that nice shot in there. There you go. <laughs> get, get that. Get that nice shot in there. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. See if you had your gloves on, you'd be fine. You'd be alright. Nah, Alright, buddy. Alright. Try to Oh, there she's angry. She's an angry one. <laughs> she said, get your finger out me mouth. <laughs> oh, it worked out perfect. Well, we've been at it for like another couple hours. Uh, weather conditions changing up on us. Um, really starting to feel it on my feet now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far we switched up to underspins, tried the jigs. Um, haven't done much on a crankbait yet. Still throwing out the battalion. Uh, drop shot also, but I think primary in that area because there was deeper water We were seeing more activity with possibly trout and whichever other type of species are in there. Oh, look at this And I'm getting a bite, but yeah, we're still out here um, And hoping to land more Good morning everybody. It's time for another episode of Billy caught a bass <laughs> On this episode, we're going to catch all the bass in the lake. And we're going to start off with some positive thinking. We came by the bank, and surprisingly, nothing really hanging out here by the rocks. What we did see was a ton of fish stacked up into 40, 50, 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, let's check it out. Thanks. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I got too big of a hook on it. That's why. Why you put such a big hook? And I want a hook on it. What are you about, Billy? Yeah, put it. All right. So I'm gonna try something different with the Z-Man. Always wanted to try these. Two. I'm gonna go help my buddy out. See if you need some help. Very nice day. Time to go eat. Oh, come on, no breaks, buddy. Let's go. You and the Titan. <laughs> oh, you're so powerful. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you got this. I'm cheering you on from up top. I'll wait for you. How's your day today, buddy? I took out a lot of wire. Right. Need a hand? Thank you. <laughs> hey, watch your mouth. I'm live here. Say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> so this is the aftermath after fishing out in was it 45 49 degree weather i've got all my gear pulled out and the reason i'm doing this is because last night around nine o'clock i ended up putting a fan over all this and try to dry out as much as i can don't want rusty nail folks remember to always dry out your gear after a wet day of fishing peace <laughs>